Shalom, Shalom. Back again. I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. And I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the other apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, man. All right. Coming to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom, Babylon. But as you people know, America. Okay? And I want to get into the plagues that the Lord has for this place, man. All right? Because uh, this, this stuff is uh, not pretty, man. Okay? This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 15, starting at uh, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right, and that's what the prophets are doing, man. We out here prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom, Babylon the Great, okay? Also known as the United States of America. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Okay? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right? So you scoffers, or you wicked people trying to rebuke us, you're going to die in your unfaithfulness, man. Okay? Just like our scripture saying in, in, uh, in uh, Romans. Let's get that real quick. says uh, Romans chapter 3 verse 3 for what if some did not believe shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect God forbid yeah let God be true but every man a liar as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged right okay like I said man you, you, uh, you scoffers you know what I'm saying you guys can't do anything but uh, help this truth, man. You can't go against the word of the Lord, man. Nobody can. Okay? Like scriptures say, um, we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth, man. I'm going to get that. All right. Let me pull the scripture out real quick. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 13. Verse 8, starting at verse 8. Like I said, man, you scoffers can't do anything against this truth, man. Okay? You know, and the brothers just getting into this truth. Um, not everybody's going to be your friend, man. This is the prophets ain't going to win a uh, popularity contest. Okay? As the Akim say. All right? And and your family, your family going to go against you too in this truth, man. All right, so you brothers, just getting in this truth, stay strong because not everybody's going to be your friend, man. Okay? The only people that are going to be your friend in this truth is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shem. All right? That's it. That's the only people you can count on. Okay? This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 13, starting at uh, verse 8. It says, For we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth, okay? So, like I said, man, you can't do nothing against the truth, man. All right, and I got one more scripture. Uh, one, one more scripture to find. Uh, it's locked here. Uh, Acts. This is one of my favorite scriptures when it comes to you scoffers, man. Okay? Because you scoffers out here just scoffing. You feel me? This is uh, Acts chapter 5, verse uh, 39. Now I start at verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Right, man. Everything that's uh, invested in the flesh is going to come to nothing, man. Okay? Because to be carnal-minded is death, but to be spiritual is everlasting life. Okay? Verse 39. But if it be of God, 
ye cannot overthrow it, lest ye haply ye be found even to fight against God. Right, man. Nobody could fight against God, man. That's suicide right there. Okay? So it's best we just get right before the Lord kill us down, man. Okay? Because if we keep playing games, the Lord going to strike us dead, man. And with a horrible death. Okay? A horrible death. So, like I said, man, you can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Okay? And when the prophets out here speaking the word of the Lord, you can't do nothing about it, man. You just might as well sit down and listen. Crisscross applesauce. Mouth shut, ears open. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 1, starting at verse 17. Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city, an iron pillar, and brazen walls against the whole land, against all the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, who delivered thee. Alright, man, so, like I said, you stop it. You can't do nothing to speak against the men of the Lord, all right? You can't speak against the scriptures, okay? No one can speak against the scriptures, man, because that's the Most High's word, all right? Let me get that scripture real quick. Because once the Most High speaks, that's it. That's all, that's all, that's all it is, man. This is uh, Amos chapter 3. And uh, verse 11. Con, con, con. This is uh, Amos chapter 3, starting at, um, I'm going to start from, I'm going to start from the top for edification's sake. Amos chapter 3, starting at verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right, man, so the Lord just said it out of his own mouth that he only knows the Israelites, man, okay? And, and, and not literally, like, know of them. It's on an intimate level, man, okay? So the Lord don't care about you other nations. If you're not a so-called black, Hispanic, or native Indian, or if your roots don't go back to ancient Israel, okay, then the Lord don't care about you, man. He only care about Israelites, and only Israelites have the chance of salvation, okay? Can two, uh, I'm going to skip down. Uh, Amos chapter 3 verse 6 So this is what I was trying to say Once the Lord speaks, that's it Okay, no, nothing can override the Most High God's word Okay Shall a trumpet be blown in the city And the people not be afraid Shall there be evil in the city And the Lord hath not done it Amos chapter 3 verse 7 Surely the Lord God will do nothing But he reveals his secret Unto his servants, the prophets Right man The Lord is not dealing with everybody Okay, the Lord's not even dealing with all of Israel. He's only dealing with the elect, man. Okay? Verse 8. The lion hath roared, who will not fear? The Lord God hath spoken, who can but prophesy? Right, man. So if the Lord makes a decree, that's it. That's the decree, man. Until otherwise, until the Lord speaks against it. Okay? So with that being said, man, y'all can't do nothing against this truth, man. All right? There's nothing you can do to speak up against the Lord, man. Straight up. Now going back to uh, the prophecy, man. Uh, this, the Lord is getting ready to uh, send out these plagues, man. Okay, it's not going to be pretty, man. At all. This is 2nd Ezra. I was at chapter 15. And I'm going to finish off, I'm going to continue at uh, verse 4, where I left off. It says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. 
Right, man. So when you when you're wicked, your works are hurtful unto the Most High God, man. Okay. If you love somebody so much, you don't want to hurt their feelings, right? Well, that just goes to show, man. A lot of y'all don't love God, man. And loving God comes down to keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay, because a lot of people love to say love is by actions. So then live by it, man. So if you're preaching, the, if you're the same one preaching love is by actions, live by your actions then. So the only way to show that you love God is to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments and have faith in your house shot. That's it. No words don't mean nothing, okay? It's all about action. All right. Uh, verse six. Lucky. Verse seven. Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more, as touching their wickedness, which they proclaim and commit. Neither will I suffer them to commit those things, in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Right, man. If you really love the Lord, you will, you will know. If you really know a thing about God, let me fix my my statement. If you really know a thing about God, you know that this world is adverse to the Most High God, man. Okay, this world is wicked, man. All right, we need to get right. This world is wicked. This world is wicked, man. Okay? Let me read it again. Verse 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 8. It says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things which in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Alright? And that's what it is, man. 